Karen, there's a lot happening at the Gloucester Airport at the moment. But first, congratulations on your new role as Managing Director. Have you settled in and can you give us a brief history of the airport up till now? Um, yes, um, I've been at the airport two and a half years and thank you so much for congratulating me. It's been a, it's been a difficult journey, but a good one. Um, I've been there two and a half years. I started as commercial finance director and then um, moved on to be interim managing director when the previous managing director left and um, was then made permanent in January. But all through that journey, all through that time, we've been on an evolving journey. The airport's got a fantastic future. And what we want to do is do work task assessments and assess the staff and see what tools and equipment and training they need to make sure we can succeed as an organisation. And that's what we're aiming to do at the moment. And that's what we're working through. We want to be an employer of choice in the county. And we feel that we can do that so much better now. We've got the funding in place and everything. I mean, the airport's been around a long time, but the opportunity we've got now is probably unprecedented. Mm. Yeah, you, you mentioned that that funding, which was very important. In fact, you secured it before and after you became managing director, I understand. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about how that will impact the airport's development and what, what are your main sources of, of revenue? So our funding comes from two main sources, our shareholders and the LEP, Local Enterprise Partnership. Um, our shareholders have given our funding through loans or through an asset swap, which means we're actually going to invest the money and then they will take one of our existing assets in exchange for it once the, once the money's been done. But where we'll spend it is on the critical infrastructure at the airport. I mentioned we want to invest in our future. We've got three runways at the airport. One will be closing shortly and the other two will be refurbished to make it a destination of choice for the county. Also, we've got to invest in critical comms infrastructure, so communications infrastructure around the radar and some of the air traffic control equipment to make sure that we can keep up with current technology and we can attract the aviation that we want to. Logistically, we are perfectly located and we want to provide better facilities for our existing tenants and to attract new tenants into the county and support the economic and regional growth. Right. And... How important will Gloucester Airport be in the growth of the cyber park that's being developed? And, and what kind of growth do you see in air traffic in the future because of all this activity? I think Gloucestershire Airport is ideally located. We, you know, minutes from the M5, the A417, and we can get to various destinations within an hour um, and European destinations in just over an hour. Um, and it's, it's essential for the USP for the cyber park and the digital forum in Gloucester, both are innovative projects going on within the county and we want to support those, attract new investment and create jobs along with them. We've also got our own business parks that we're developing and what we want to provide is greater connectivity both nationally and internationally and make our county a, a choice destination for people to come and invest in and bring their businesses to. And I think in doing that and with the greener aviation we want to promote as well, we can really become that destination of choice. Mm. So, so the cyber park is one of those driving factors that will really that you're focusing on. Absolutely. We, what we want to do is we want to you know help market that by saying we can be the connectivity to Europe. You're going to get some really big names wanting to go there. It's going to be an excellent hub of excellence. And what we want to do is make sure that we can be part of that and actually provide the connectivity they need to still get to their other locations, be it London, be it Europe, be it over anywhere else in the world, but they can do it on their doorstep with six minutes away. Wow. And so it's really, it sounds like a, predominantly a business airport, but with some tourism, correct? Um, what we actually do, we've got a few main sources of income. We actually maintain a large percentage, 80% plus of the 999 helicopters in the UK. We are a huge training centre for the UK, both for commercial and private pilots. We do private um, charters, be it helicopters or planes, to anywhere in the world. Um, and we've got an air, air traffic control training centre. And what we're also is we've got some people developing greener aviation, so electro, electric technology and aviation at our airport. And we want to promote that and become a, an environmental sustainable airport for the future, because that's the way aviation is going. It's, it's going to have to become greener and we want to support that and use that as our USP. We've got unique facilities in Gloucestershire and we really, really want other people to realize that and come to us. Great, sounds greener and, and, and very innovative, it sounds like. So yeah. is there, so it, with that then, is there a specific message you'd like the business community to know when they think of Gloucestershire Airport? I want us to be thought of as the regional connectivity hub, as I said, not only to the, 
UK destinations, but to European destinations and the rest of the world. And think of it as an opportunity to connect not only with the local businesses, but internationally as well. You know, we want to be a centre of excellence. We've got superb facilities and we're investing in our future and we want you to come and see us and see that we can be a destination of choice. Come to us with your ideas. We want to work with people to make it a better place. So over the next five to 10 years, where will you see, where will Gloucester Airport be in about five or 10 years if if, if you could see that far, that far in advance? Um, we want to, we will have, We'd have invested in all our facilities by then. We'll be doing some developments to actually help pay for those because some of the income streams to pay for the loans for the infrastructure is coming from our developments. And then we want to see it become even more sustainable and more profitable growth for our shareholders and for the community and for the community to be proud of us and want to come and visit us. We intend to connect with the community a lot more than we have done previously. We want to do open days in the future and we want to really involve the community in what we want to do and a place, as I said, a centre of excellence for that greener aviation. It's really important that we adopt both our shareholders' climate control agendas and we embrace it and give something back to them because they've actually given us the opportunity to succeed. Wow. Well, great. I'm sure the Cheltenham Chamber of Commerce will be right behind you and all that. So, Absolutely. Well, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Karen Taylor, Managing Director of Gloucester Airport. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you.